ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and today I have a main concept wig for you. She is called RCHS202 Anna and I have Anna in the color SH430. Now I've been looking forward to this wig for a while because I love the way the curls fall on this wig. I'm not really sure how long she is. She kind of looks like she's about 20 inches maybe. Um, the information on the back says she has a realistic pre-plucked part. HD transparent lace, 5 inch deep lace part, natural hairline, baby hairs, breathable flexible cap, adjustable combs and straps as you know. Now she has a part on her that does not need any plucking. So you can see her part looks really really good and she does have a little bit of room in the front that you might pluck on both sides of that part but not much and on the rest of the wig. So I am going to take the lace off and I may do a little bit of plucking to her but I'll show you that and then we'll come back and talk about Anna. So, uh, you know, I've, um, I'm always in search of a better way to lay these wigs down. So I'm trying something different this time. I'm going to see if I can just glue it down with the glue already on here. And then just stick it on here. That's kind of what I'm hoping I can do this time. It's just uh, lay it down here on the side and up here let's see what happens here 
He has a lot of hair on this head, on this wig. A lot of hair on this wig. Let me see what I can do to get it out of my way. Okay, so this is like, this hair is like not cooperating with me here. It's a lot of hair. Okay, so yeah, I just kind of want to glue it down on the side like that, as opposed to having to uh, just put that hair back there and see if I can get it to stay down like that. Okay, so the top is acting like it wants to cooperate. And it's cooperating a little bit over here. Over here, it probably just was in the wrong spot. So, we're just gonna um, lay it down like that over here. And this side is probably not gonna be as uh, conspicuous because there's more hair over there. So. a little bit of help right up in there Yeah, this hair is kind of thick. This hair reminds me of my own hair. It's kind of thick. So I just kind of wanted to get um, get it laid down. I think I'm probably going to have to um, get some alcohol to get uh, that off of there. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, and I just meant my shiny face. So here she is at first glance now that I'm done a little bit to her. I'm gonna put some product in her hair, but I wanted you to see the length of her. And I'll put her all in the back so you can see the back. Yep. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to put some of my Bobos Remy in this wig because you guys know I love this stuff as a detangler. So I'm gonna put it in here because this hair looks to me like it's probably going to go that direction. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a tangler. And let's see, um, I think I'll start out with a wide, wider tooth comb. And see, what I also like about this Bobos Remy is that it puts a nice sheen in the hair. It puts a nice sheen in the hair. Yeah, there she goes, there she goes. Now, combing her out, like I showed you guys last time in another video, is that when you start combing them through, the curls that were there are not going to be there any longer. So as you can see, she is a lot more voluminous on this side than she is on this side where the waves are. So if you don't want the voluminous look, which I think is gorgeous, but if you don't want that, then you don't want to comb her out. So what you might want to do, I'm just going to see if I can finger her through on this side and see if that maybe makes it less voluminous. Actually, doing that, I think, still gives it some volume, but I'm telling you the truth. I love this wig. <laughs> I love this. Look at this. And I took the baby hairs out because you don't need them. You don't need the baby hair. Like I said, I need to take a little bit of this glue off my face, but you don't need the baby hair because this thing is plucked really nice. I didn't pluck it at all. I didn't pluck it at all. I didn't pluck it at all, and it is gorgeous. This one, and I knew it would be. When I saw Anna, I said, that's the one. <laughs> She's shedding a little bit, and I think it's because, again, I took off the baby hair, and so I had to cut a little closer to the wig in terms of the lace. I had to cut a little bit closer to the hairline, but oh, look at this one. I think she is gorgeous. Yeah, look, she's... Oh. 
This is a gorgeous wig. Look at that. And see, it's got a little bit of a shorter, you know, you can, matter of fact, I might trim this one just a tad bit. Where's my scissors? I might trim this a little bit, just a little bit, just take a little bit off of the, of the hair. Yeah. Oh, this is a winner. This is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Yeah, I'm still pulling hairs out of her. But again, if you don't pull her baby hairs off, cut her baby hairs off, then you probably won't deal with what I'm dealing with. But look at that. This wig is beautiful. Now, she is definitely yakky. She is not silky. And she's thick, which is interesting because she reminds me of my own hair. When my hair was this long, this is what it looked like. Thick. Thick like this. Yeah, this is nice. Nice texture. Nice texture. I'm just loving this. And I just love the way the curls just kind of... Yeah, they're just effortless. They're effortless. <sighs> okay, now let me tell you what I can tell you about Anna. Let's see. It says um, she's a HD skin melt lace front wig. Um, Futura fibers. Wide 5-inch deep lace part. It says melt into your style with HD lace. I agree. <laughs> I agree. She looks great. I didn't have to tint the lace either. As you guys can see, she is fitting my skin just perfectly. Looks like she's coming out of my head. Okay, main concept. You got a real winner here. You got a real winner here because this one is just absolutely beautiful. Anna is absolutely beautiful. And I'm glad I got her in this color because I wanted something a little bit more natural. And this, I could walk outside and people would think this is mine. <laughs> Maybe not, but I would think it was. If I saw somebody with this wig, I would think it was theirs. Yeah, I love this. Look at that. <sighs> I can't say enough good things about Anna. I'm loving her. And I have been wanting this wig for a hot minute. And I said to them, I said, um, can y'all send Anna? Because <laughs> I really like this one. Um, I didn't put any heat on her because really, I don't think she really needs any heat here. I still haven't even put powder in the part. And the part looks natural to me. <laughs> so, wow. I'm just really impressed with her. I'm impressed with Anna. Yeah, I am. She's a winner, winner, chicken dinner, as um, Wicks Wasteland says, or Mika Lynn, as Mika Lynn says. She's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wow. You guys better get a hold of this one because it's going to sell. This one's going to sell out. I'm telling you the truth. This density alone is worth purchasing this wig because I'm telling you, this wig feels like human hair. It feels like human hair. The density feels human. The thickness of it. Yes, it's just beautiful. And it naturally, you know, kind of goes back. Like I said, I haven't put any heat in it at all. No heat at all. And I just, I think it's absolutely positively gorgeous. This is the kind of wig that you could wear if you're going out on a special occasion. This is definitely a wedding worthy wig. If you're getting married, if I was getting married again, I'd be wearing this one because this one is like serious, you know, matrimony hair. This is matrimony hair. Wow. I am just, I'm, I'm just blown away. Look, look at this. I want you to get a closer look at this hair. Look at this hairline and look at the texture of this hair. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't say enough things, enough good things about Anna. So, if you are interested in Anna, and her full name is RCHS202 Anna, and again, I have her in the color SH430. I will put the information down in the description section. I believe she is available now. She's not a wig that's been sitting and waiting. She's available now for you to purchase. Whew, don't miss this one, because in this color, I think she's going to sell out, because this color is very, very natural brown color. Um, she also comes in, of course, this red color, which is called, oof, you know, I can't see. Oh, I'm reading it upside down. Uh, it's SR1B Red. SR1B Red is what she's wearing here. And then she comes in some other colors that I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to try to read because y'all know I'm blind. But you can go on their website, their main concept website, and see all the wigs that are available or coming. And also, you can look on your favorite retail store because I'm sure that this one is already there. So yeah, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love with Anna. And uh, you guys know how I am when I'm loving something. 
I really love it. So I'll put all the information down at the bottom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Main Concept, for sending me this unit. I've been waiting for it for such a long time. And as you guys know, uh, we're close to 5,000, so keep hitting that subscription button. Get your friends and your family, your auntie and your grandma and the woman down the street to um, subscribe to my channel because you guys know what happens to 5,000. We're not even going to go there. So again, ladies, as I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good, especially in Anna, <laughs> and so are you. See you next time.